Billy's Wide World of Sports. Hey, welcome back to Billy's Wide World of Fishing. Today, I'm a little bored. Uh, did my chores around the house already. Um, and today I'm going to put a anchor trolley uh, on the canoe. And here's a look at our materials that we're gonna use. So we got two one and a quarter inch pulleys. This is all bought by at Home Depot, by the way. Uh, two uh, rope loops, two rope loops. I may not use those. I'm going to see how it works out. Uh, two inch and a half um, rings. Two carabiners. And I already got these anchor cleats attached to my boat and some paracord. So what I've done so far is um, I'm trying to do this without screwing anything into the boat. So what I've done so far is um, I got one hook up in the back here and I got one, so this is the back of the boat. And I also put one of those uh, loops in the front of the boat. And from there, we're gonna have our trolley system uh, go along the side of the boat. So stay tuned. Next, add your carabiners to both the bow and the stern. Next, add this small carabiner and your little pulley system to the front and the back of the boat. Okay, next, take your paracord and you're gonna run this right down the whole length of your canoe or kayak, whatever you have, right to the next trolley, or uh, pulley rather. And you're gonna put that right through that pulley, run it back down, out again. And that gives you your length that gives you your length and then we're gonna get our ring give it a little extra too by the way extra 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 okay one change uh, we're gonna wind up using this little eye loop mount here instead of using this rope because the trolley keeps coming up over over the bow so I'm gonna have to keep it below the bow so I'm gonna mount this into the side of the boat. Okay, okay, mounting the rope loop to the hull, I uh, went with the 1024 by inch and a half, and it's a tight space in there, so I wound up using um, wing nuts also. Wing nuts and, um, and lock washers make it a little easier because it is a tight space getting that in there. Okay, now one in the bow of the boat also. Bow and stern. All right, and at the very end of your power cord, you're going to attach your ring. Okay, that's how we want that to look. Everybody on board so far? Good. All right, I'm gonna change this up from this ring to a carabiner. I, I wanna have access to open it up and be able to get my anchor line through it. Like this. And I'm gonna tie up the other end also. It's all coming together. Okay, coming to the final. We're gonna go over the top and through the bottom. top and through the bottom. And now it's all gonna come together. It's all gonna come together. Because in the middle, I have the carabiner that we're gonna tie this to, nice and tidy. Okay, so we're all tied off in the middle here. So the reason why I wanted to use a carabiner, um, so I could open it 
when I want to put my anchor line through here. Because if you use just the regular ring that most people use, then you have to kind of rig up your anchor a little differently um, and run it through the ring. So this this way, I have my anchor already hooked up to the line that I don't want to want to cut. So uh, I'll just run that line right through here, close it up, and check it out. I mean, this is this is absolutely awesome. You have the ability to go from bow to stern. Just pulling it along. Isn't that cool? And all the stuff I just picked up at Home Depot and maybe spent about 20 bucks. Um, you can go on Amazon and get yourself a anchor trolley kit yourself for 35, 45 bucks, sometimes even more. But this is a do-it-yourself, uh, again, for about $20 worth of material. Here's my favorite part. Cutting the rope to size and burning the end. <laughs> the use of fire in the outdoors. It's a primitive thing. This will keep those uh, uh, ends nice and tight. We don't want split ends, right? We don't like split ends. There you go. Final touch. Oh yeah, and if you missed my last video regarding the new seat setup that I put into the Old Town canoe, check this out. This is all not fairly new, but um, here's the new setup for the seat. So we got this uh, one inch square bar stock and long screws that go through, drilled in. Two, two locations, both sides, obviously. Here's a look from that view, bolted in. Put a little foam padding, extra foam padding for the, for the comfort. And then obviously your seat comes right up on here. So it's really, a, it's a great, great new fit for the boat. Uh, much more comfortable. I also moved the seat a little bit forward uh, towards the bow of the canoe just to get better balance and it has done that. The other addition that I've done too or change is I've changed the thwart and I moved the thwart more towards the uh, stern of the boat to the back of the boat uh, so I can get my feet up here uh, which gives me extra leverage when I am paddling. So uh, that's about it. Those are all the, the new changes. Um, that I've made to the uh, Old Town Canoe. So welcome back. And again, thanks, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, enjoy all the videos right here on Billy's Wide World of Fishing.